Welcome to the Elevate Podcast, where we stay real, have real convos about real struggles, and give you real truths, so together we can live this life well. Hi everyone! Since last time we talked about new beginnings and yung mga realities that comes with it, also we discussed about failures and sad points in new beginnings, I think it's just but right to talk today about growth. Dahil pag ng failure, may growth. Right, right. Ready na ba kayo? Yes. At para yes. ma-start ang fire ng conversation natin, ng real conversation natin today, recap tayo from the fishbowl from last time. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng learnings. Okay. Ayan. Let's look at this. Kunin kayo learning ko. <laughs> para personal. So, I wrote from last time, what I learned is, it's never too late to start again. Yeah. Agree ba kayo Agree. Yes, yes. Yeah, Agree. na parang what we learned from last time, it's it's okay to st- have a New Year's resolution or a resolution even in the middle of the year, even at the end of the year. Ang importante ay bumabangon ka. Ikaw! Sa akin naman, ang nabunot ko is to stay consistent in your commitment to change yourself. Look beyond yourself. So this mm-hmm. is the paradox of paradox of resolutions. So I think this si Kuya Tid shared about yung you don't just change yourself for like one goal. For example, yeah. when you exercise, parang di mo iniisip lang na I want to be healthy kasi or I want to be fit. I want to be Instagramable when mm. I post. Pero iniisip mo yung bigger picture niya. Yeah. Na parang ang sinabi ni Kuya Tid dito is he doesn't want to just work out because he wants to be fit or healthy but because he wants to glorify the Lord with what he has given to us. With the body that he has mm-hmm. entrusted to us. So, yeah. yeah. How about yeah. moving beyond? Yeah. Okay. Tama, tama. Sa akin naman na nakuha ko yung ano yun. Accountability is the key. Wow. Ah, big word. <laughs> Ang susi. Accountability. Accountability yan. Ah, ano Kasi ba most of pagkalalakian, parang ano yun, parang mal, hindi masyadong makuwento. Mm. Kasi most of the men, I mean, even me sometimes, parang, we're thinking na, ay, feeling ko, kaya ko pa tong solusyonan. Mm. Feeling ko, kaya ko pa tong gawa ng solusyon. However, I realized then with my friends then, na yung pagiging accountable, it would also help me for them to understand who am I. Mm-hmm. And also for them to understand kung paano nila ako matutulungan sa mga bagay na kailangan ko rin yeah. ng tulong. And there are times, kasi parang, pag lalaki, parang tingin nila, kailangan malakas ka. Kailangan Bawal ka umiyak. <laughs> Bawal, Bawal ka magkamali. Ka umiyak, umiyak, yes. Which is, para sa lahat, alam ko, maraming lalaki yung magiging parang relate dito. We also need encouragement sometimes. And through being account- accountable, malalaman ng mga tao kung paano kanila nila ma-encourage. Yeah, that's yeah. true, no? It's the key talaga. Yeah, it's allowing people <laughs> uh, to see you for who you are. Yes. Not only for how good you are, mm-hmm. but your failures. And there's beauty in it kasi pag nakita nila yun, may help kanila how you can grow. Na oy, exactly. ikaw ka dito ah or uy, magaling ka dito, gawin mo 'yan. Kahit Tama. ikaw mismo hindi mo siya makita. Pero bago 'yan, baka hindi nila tayo kilala. <laughs> oh, diba? So magkakilala muna tayo. Again, I'm from the last pod, I'm Ate Sigrid. So I don't need to introduce myself further. Panoorin niyo na lang yung last time para malaman niyo o pakinggan niyo. Ikaw, sino ka ba? Yes, so, my yeah, name is Isaiah Mirapuentes from Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Ah! Yeah, NCAA yeah. champion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe din yung mga competitive spirit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ito din intro before. How about you, Ate Z? Ako naman, I'm Ate Z Atienza. I'm a graduate from UP Manila. Wow. Ooh, Universidad <laughs> ng Pilipinas. <laughs> anyway, well, let's dive in to our time together. No, I'm so excited. Like, what do you learn again today? I really learned a lot from last time. Conversing and staying real lang talaga. And since we talked ab- a lot about yun nga, accountability, a lot about looking beyond yourself when you're starting new, and there's yun nga, failures and struggles in the middle, right? Um, ano ba yung mga things na kailangan i-let go? Yan. Na para hindi ka mahinder mag-grow. What are the things that I should let go because they hinder me to grow? Maybe not only things, maybe mindset, maybe, um, or maybe literally something that you have to let go. What can you say about that? Sige, sige. Um, sige, for me, what are the things or we should let go for us to grow? Actually, kami tatlo, we have uh, our own things to let go of. Pero siguro, just a disclaimer. Tayo yung mga kasagot eh. 
what we need to let go of. What we need to surrender. Because there are things that maybe we share with you now. Oh, yes. personal, she. Na, bakit hindi naman yun yung kailangan mong let go. <laughs> so, siguro thing, something to think That's about nice. is what am I struggling, struggling with personally? Because we have some that we can let go. Na inisip natin kasi ito ni let go na no friend ko pero hindi mo kailangan it go. Mm. I let go. Like for me personally before, I used to love K-pop. Actually hanggang ngayon, may yeah. ako sa K-pop. <laughs> pero na-realize ko distraction siya sa akin. Pero it doesn't mean na everyone has to let go of K-pop, mm-hmm. 'di ba? Kasi sa akin naging distraction Tama. siya. So ganun, disclaimer lang. Pero siguro one of the things that I noticed um in this generation and also with me is yung pag overthink yeah, I guess. Yes. Isa yan. Isa yan. Pag overthink. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You overthink it kasi pa minsan we're so focused on ourselves and our problems. Now we're not thinking about other people or other things or how um God can work in our lives as well. Mm-hmm. Pa minsan masyado ka nang na stuck sa sarili mo eh. Tapos parang wala na akong hope, wala na akong way to grow or to get out of things. I think that's one of the things that we can let go of when we're too focused on ourselves. Ang ganda nun. Yeah. I think we all have that tendency nga, no, si Ia, na parang wala pa nga nangyayari, nandun ka na sa dulo. Uh, uh, <laughs> Di ba? Parang ito pa lang yung, sinu- yung nililid sa'yo, ito pa lang yung next step. Hindi mo na magawa kasi takot ka na. When in fact, you have to put your feet forward one step after another para malaman mo. Diba? Tama, tama. Ikaw, Sia, anong masasabi mo? Ako naman, actually, I usually tell it to myself na learn from the past but do not dwell on it. Boom. Diba? Parang Ganun. yung mga past natin, it, it will help us to learn. I mean, uh, para paano tayo mag-go through, paano tayo mag- to, mag-move forward. However, we have to always open our mind that there's still more opportunity mm-hmm. beyond dun sa past. Na parang meron pang mag- pwede mangyari. I can do better than this. Uh, we can do better than this. There's still better na pwede pang mangyari. God can do better than this kumpara dun sa mga past na nangyari. Yeah, I think, no, what I got from our conversation together, it's really more than something, it's really our mindset mm, that yes. we need yes. to, kumbaga, ch- keep in check to let go if there are things na alam natin either lie, yeah. di ba? Alam natin na it's been holding us in, yeah. right? So that we could make a step forward to grow. And, As I'm even saying this, I'm reminded na yung nga, minsan kasi pag nagkamali ka, parang feeling mo yun na yun eh. Parang ayoko na ulit. Uh-oh. I remember a personal time in my life na share ko sa last pod na um, I started out 2022 na sobrang hirap talaga ako, hopeless talaga ako. Parang dumating na ako sa point na ayoko na magkamali, ayoko na mag free eh. Parang, parang nakakatakot, parang nag ako tapos hindi naman nangyari. But that's where I actually, when I yun lang, minsan hindi mo nga kailangan ma-feel eh. Minsan kailangan mo lang gawin. Kailangan mo lang mag-show up. Na habang hinahakbang mo yung paa mo at ine-expose mo yung sarili mo sa mga tamang tao, dun ka unti-unting nag-grow. And with that, we, yun nga eh, ano ba yung mga tamang systems or habits that you can share mm. na ikaw rin personally na learn mo that has helped you grow? Um, siguro for me, one of the best thing na nag-help din talaga sa akin to grow is choosing the best people. I mean, mm. kasi parang ano eh. Parang right people. No? Yeah, the right people. Kasi there are times na, yes, it is good to be accountable. What if you're sharing it to, to the wrong uh, people? To the wrong people. Oh, tama, mm. tama. Diba? So, parang minsan niya parang dumating sa point na ng buhay ko na parang ang, ang hirap na kumilala ng bagong tao. Nakakatakot. Oo, oh, nakakatakot. Issues, no? <laughs> Kasi parang there's a question in my mind na kailan kaya ilalabas yung totoong sila. Ah. Kasi baka mamaya kaya ganito sila sa akin kasi first time nila akong makilala. Hmm. So what if alamin ko muna kilalanin ko muna sila bago ko sila bago ako maging accountable hmm. sa kanila. Kasi for me if I'm sharing my struggles if yeah. sinishare ko sa kanila yung mga pinagdadaanan ko sa buhay kailangan may tiwala ako sa kanila eh. yeah. Because I know na sila rin mismo kaya kong tulungan yeah. at kaya rin nila mm. akong tulungan sa ganong bagay. Ang ganda nun, brother. Yeah. Thank you, Kauzi. Anong masasabi mo? 
Ang ganda na sabi niya about accountability. Pero, uh, I think to complement that, mm. aside from sharing to other people, um, anong pinagdadaanan mo? Ikaw din mismo. You have to acknowledge ano yung mga pinagdadaanan mo. So, I guess for me, um, yung good habit to build. Resolutions pala to. Uh, Landon pa rin ako sa last week. Ayan. So, for me, I think it's processing it with yourself first, acknowledging what you're feeling, and processing it with the right people or the right yeah. person. It's with the Lord, aside from, mm-hmm. ayun, people around you. Pero, important din na you're able to just sit quietly on your own. I believe the mention mo to yeah. at the Sigrid in the previous podcast yeah, yeah. na you just need time on your own to process things. And one of the things that um, pinanghahawakan ko, one of the verses na pinanghahawakan ko whenever I make New Year's resolutions or when it comes to personal growth, mm-hmm. um, the th- yung commitments natin. It says in Psalms 37 verse 5, Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust Him and He will help you. Yeah. So, ayun. How can you trust someone if hindi mo din binubuhos yung anong nararamdaman mo? Yeah. Ano pinagdadaanan mo? Tama ka dun. And how can you trust someone that you do not know? Yeah. So, it's really also um, going, tama sabi mo yun, it's really going to the one who knows you most. Yes. yes. God. Uh, ang ganda ng points nyo, no, na for you, ay for you, Z, it's stay payang it's being real with the Lord, the one who knows us most and best and who won't judge us ever. And at the same time, si Seya, ang sabi niya is it's finding people who is real with you and who you can be real with. It's nga, a habit of self awareness, habit of um, being genuine with God. Yeah. So that you can also have the habit of Finding the right people. And when you, when you say right people, hindi naman perfect eh. Yeah. Diba? Uh, yes, Parang yes. it's people talaga na um, alam mong you, you will say things that you... Safe place. Yes. Yeah. And will say things that you need and not only... Yes. And not only want to hear. And I, I'm just curious, no? Ikaw ba say, saan mo nakita? Sabi mo, diba? Parang from the past... Um, Yung nga, natakot kami mga trust issues ka na, di ba? Parang gano'n, nag-open okay, up ka. Okay, the tea. Wala, <laughs> oh, di ba? Tapos malalaman mo na sinabi, may ganit, ginudge ka pala. Ikaw ba, paano mo nakita yun or saan mo nakita yung community na yun? That helped you grow personally. Um, actually, at Sig, I'm always asking God for clarity kapag may nakikilala akong bagong tao. Mm. Parang, ginagawa ko, pag may bago kong taong makilala, hindi ko muna sila agad kinuklose. Mm. Kasi parang, Baka dahil friends, kaya nila ako friends kasi because they are comfort, uh, parang comfortable sila sa akin. So, ginagawa ko, uh, ang making distance, pero not totally distance na di kita kakausapin. Yung parang, ano lang, parang siguro the best time para makilala kita, yung parang, uh, yung parang casual talk lang, mm-hmm. ganyan. And if they stay, friends ko pa rin sila even though in that situation, yun yung hinihingi yung clarity sa Lord, ah, they are the best person for, uh, mm-hmm. for me na kahit wala ako malagi sa kanila, nandyan pa rin sila nag stay so, Aww. sila yun dapat na maging, sa kanila dapat ako maging accountable. Kasi, parang mostly sa mga, especially to the youth right now, na parang, ah, friends kita kasi lagi tanga sa amin. Mm. Friends kita kasi may time ka sa akin. What if dumating yung time, no, mangyayari naman talaga after years, na wala nang time sa iyo mga friend mo. Will they still be a real friends for you? Mm. So, ganun. Kaya parang ginagawa ko, sa so, simula pa lang, tinatry ko na na, Oh, sige, huwag muna tayo maging close agad. <laughs> I want to make time muna na kilalanin kita. And, and that way, dun ko nakita, ah, okay Lord, ito na to. Sure to. <laughs> mm, I think it's also a lot about the community you're involved mm, in. No? Yes. Kung saan. Ikaw, Z, what, what can you say about what he said? Or where did you find that community since nandun na tayo eh? Oh, I like what you said about you find the friends who will be there for you not only in your highs but in your lows. Yeah. And personally, by... God's grace, na bless ako with the community and what we call a small group or what we call yeah. a D group. So, ayun, I have an ate. Hello, shout out. <laughs> yeah, and so, I have an ate and I also have people who yeah. are also like my age, younger or older. Mm-hmm. But basically, I can share everything under the sun about um, family. Without about, judgment. Yes, yeah. without <laughs> judgment. Tsaka yung sinabi ni ate Sigrid na Stay sasabi, real lang. Uh-huh. Real lang talaga. Pwede mong ibuhos lahat ng emotions mo. But, uh, hindi sila parang, oh, it's okay. Or talagang, yeah. ano, dapat ganito, ganyan. Hindi. They will tell you talaga na, alam mo, it's okay that you feel that way. It's valid. Pero, 
alam mo yun, sasabihin ka taga ng real talk. Yeah. They will tama, tell tama. you uh, ano yung perspective na kailangan i-change or yeah. ayun, they will just really comfort you and also tell you what you need to improve. Exactly. Tama. And what is good in a small group actually, at Izzy and Ate Sig, hmm. parang ano eh, they will help you to surrender yes. to the Lord. Oh, Kasi yeah. most of tulungan. the time, oh, tulungan yeah. talaga. If, sa parang may mag-share ako ng problema sa ibang tao, like, Lagi nilang sinasabi, bro, okay lang yan. Mm. Parang ganun, bro, problema lang yan. Kaya mo mm. Parang dumating sa point sa akin, nalang weird naman. Kasi hindi ko na nga kaya. Tapos sinasabi pa nila sa akin, kaya mo yan. Parang, kailangan ko na nga ng tulong. Sinasabi mm. pa nila sa akin, bro, problema lang yan. Parang, <laughs> talaga ba? <laughs> lang ba? <laughs> lang ba talaga? <laughs> parang ganun. So, ginagawa ko, parang, Bob, bro, iyak na ako na iyak. Hindi ko na kaya. Tapos lagi nilang sinasabi, laban lang, laban lang. Then what I learned in life is kaya tayo na papagod kasi laban tayo ng laban. Mm. So what is n- ang kailangan nating gawin is sumuko sa Lord kasi yes. sa kanyang kapahingahan. And tama and people holding us together. Yes. Right? Parang iba nga no, kapag umiiyak ka tapos nasabi lang, kaya mo yan. At at the same time, maririnig mo rin. Sometimes no, even ako what my personal experience sa small group, minsan nakikinig lang ako. Oo. Oh. Kahit ayaw ko pumunta sa makinig lang ako. Tapos sabi ko, ay shocks, mas ma... Malalim pala yung pinagdadaanan na itong tao na to na parang na-realize ko, hala, if nakita niya si God sa buhay niya na gano'n nakahirap, for sure, meron din sa akin. Yeah. Diba? It's so beautiful, lo, na parang may, parang hindi ka mag-grow personally alone. Yeah. Nalala ko yung quote, sobrang cliche niya, but no man is an island. Yeah. Yes. Right? Parang it takes... Ano yan? It takes a village to raise a child, di ba? Ang dami natin quotes na isip. But it's really reality. And as a psych graduate, and now I'm taking up my master's, right? Um, we're really made as relational beings. And you can't separate growth from community. It goes together, right? Na parang talagang, and it's so beautiful. Na of course, um, small group, hindi naman siya perfect because we're all imperfect people. Pero dun ka magtutulungan eh. Right? Doon ka na, pre, bumagsak ka, or Mars. Mars! <laughs> diba? Parang, and diba? You, you fell, like you tripped, but it's okay. Yeah. And, sig- um, in line with that, no, um, siguro, what's your encouragement before we go to the next part of this? To people na, since we're talking about community, we're talking about mm. small group, right? Who may have been hurt, I know I'm veering off kind of a bit, a little bit, but maybe some of you guys listening, na hurt ka, um, na outcast ka, even in church, na pag chismisan ka, right? Or maybe you had your own personal experience. How did you deal with it? What can you say to them as well? Para may hirap, hirap yun. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is for mm. another episode. <laughs> <Get on. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just briefly. Briefly, siguro, recently I saw this. Para, I can't say it verbatim. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko maalala. Pero pag-usapang hurts from the church, actually, the person who was hurt the most by the church was Jesus himself. Exactly. Oh, ganda nun. Okay, Kas- tapos na. <laughs> na. Pero, true, diba? That mm-hmm. The person who was hurt the most by That's the church so was Jesus himself. And yet, he was able to give himself up, his life up for us. And so, my encouragement is really to not to look at the people because we're all imperfect. In one way or another, we'll be able, parang we'll disappoint you, we'll hurt mm. you, and um, kayo din mismo, hindi nyo din, baka hindi nyo lang alam na naka-hurt na Tama. pala kayo. Pero yun eh, that's the reality na we're all just imperfect people who doesn't know everything mm. who doesn't know ano nasa isip ng ibang tao and who just re- also really wants to glorify God but yeah. sometimes we fail yeah yeah we're growing we together. are growing together so eyes yeah. on the Lord lang talaga yeah so, say anything focus lang ganun <laughs> focus lang sa goal <laughs> yeah na parang narealize ko babalik talaga tayo dun sa habit since we're talking about mm. it what do we need to build so again looking at the one who yes. does not disappoint Yes. Diba? And yun nga, being with community. With that, right, um, when it comes to growing, iba-iba yung ano yan, levels yes. of growth. Like plants, mm. right? Like, um, ano pa ba? Like animals. Diba? Iba-iba yung timing niya. And sometimes, we can't help but feel na hala, ba't sila nag-grow na? And mi- mahirap yan eh. Sila nag-grow na. 
ako andito pa din. Wala na feel ko 'yan. Oh, <laughs> Nang feel ko yan before lalo nung bag- bago ko gumraduate. Sige parang na, share mo. Nakikita ako most of my uh, classmates yeah. parang meron na silang track na ito yung magiging yes. trabaho nila, oh, wow. ganyan. Especially yung at tinatawag na adulting age na parang. Mm. Ay, ang ganda na ng trabaho niya, natupad mm. niya na yung pangarap niya. So parang Hello Lord, anak mo ba ako? <laughs> Para mo pa na yung question natin sometimes on Lord sa na ba po sa san ano ba yun sa na ba po sa na ba ako papunta kaya and one thing that I realize in life na yung mga slow process mm-hmm. it will help you to appreciate yung journey mo boom yeah na realize ang ganda na sabi mo eh nas the greatest disappointments mm-hmm. or the great the hardest tests is what will make the success greater and more beautiful. Exactly. Parang kanyari, nag-aral ka ng boards or ba't gano'n na lang yung iyak ng mga tao kapag pumapasa sila ng boards or ng bar? Kasi pinaghirapan nila yun eh. Kasi nahirapan sila. But the beauty of reaching it finally when you can because you didn't give up. Ikaw, Tizi. I like what you said, Isaiah, about slow journeys. Yes. Sometimes kasi on social media, what we see, yung mga highlights ng mga tao na, oh, ito, na-promote na ako, or I have this car na, or I bought a house na at this age. What we see is the success already. Yes. What we don't nice. see is the tears behind the mm-hmm. success. So and the sweat. The, uh, and the blood. <laughs> the blood, sweat, and tears uh-huh. of the person. So parang lahat naman tayo may pinagdadaanan. Lahat naman tayo hindi instant millionaire or mm. something. We all have, like what you said, a journey. And it feels like it's slow for us. Kasi tayo yung nandun eh. Mm. Pero alam mo yung moments na bigla ka na lang mapapaisip na, hala kung nangyari to sa akin last year, umiiyak na ako. Pero ngayon, by God's grace, hindi na ako umiiyak. Mm-hmm. Doon mo makikita na, oo nga, no, it felt so long for me, but God has already brought me so far from last year, or from yeah. last month, or from even yesterday. ba diba? mm-hmm. So parang yung journey natin talaga, yung growth journey natin, it has highs and it has lows, and it takes time definitely. and it is what it makes it beautiful yes no the journey of the highs and the lows and i guess no what we can learn from this is really accepting yes na accepting that it won't be perfect mm-hmm. that there will be changes right that there will be edits to your plans yes. na lord ito yung gusto ko eh or para ito ito yung sa tingin ko ako eh yeah. or a lot of times mag-end up ay iba pala kasi dito ka pala nakatakda. Right? So, it's a beautiful, kumbaga, para siyang painting eh. Right? Yung artist, ang, let's make it, ano, no, that illustration na, when you look at an artist's painting in the first, parang, few stages of it, parang wala lang, ha? Hindi drawing niya. Mm. Pero little by little, as he or she paints it, magkukul ka, ay, ang ganda pala nito. And I think that's something we can all hold on to. Right, um, as we um, grow in our different stages of growth. And I think it's not bad to rejoice with people who are, you know, already. they're already there. Tama, tama. Right? And to also come, kung nakikita mo na ikaw yung tao na, o oh, andun ka na, wag ka rin naman na wala ka nang pakialam dun sa mga taong nahihirapan pa. Parang you're there to help them yeah. process things. And again, ano, yes, siya. Yeah. Actually, yun, like gusto ko lang na gusto ko yung sinabi mo at sig na mm. acceptance. Kung kanina, sila ganyan sinasabi, accountability is the key. Ngayon ah, naman, para acceptance, acceptance is the key! Is the key. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi one thing that I realize, ano, parang there are times that's why we can't move forward kasi hindi natin tinatanggap na baka meron din kulang sa atin. <laughs> kasi parang ang pinakamahirap tanggapin sa buhay na meron din palang kulang sa atin. Na parang meron din palang may money sa atin. So like, like for example, when we are taking medicines, before you take the medicine, you have to accept first na meron kang sakit. And on that way na inaccept mo na yung, yung sakit mo na may lagnat ka talaga, tsaka mo take yung medicine, dun mo malalaman na okay, kaya itong epe, itong medicine na to effective to para sa sakit ko kasi yeah. doon mo malalaman yung success eh, kapag nainom mo na Tama. yung solution dun sa problem at dahil lang ka na nga sa linyahan ng sakit at pag may sakit ka kailangan mong pilitin na uminom ng medicine mm. yeah. kailangan mong pilitin na bumangon uminom ng tubig kasi kung hindi hindi ka gagaling and I think yes. that's growth in itself right parang you need to really exp- 
not isolate yourself. You need to be, babalik tayo dun kayo, you need to stay real with people and you need to be real with the Lord. Kasi nakikita ka naman niya eh. Alam, hindi siya blind, hindi siya bingi sa pinagdadaanan natin. And ang ganda nga na, na soon magugulat ka na lang as you do those things consistently. Ay, magaling na ako. Yeah. Ay, okay, may, may sakit pa din ng onti yung sugat pero nag-close na siya. Diba? And makikita mo na mas malakas ka. I'm just reminded, ang dami nating illustrations no sa podcast na to or sa episode na to. Pero yung muscles, right? Nagiging batak ka. Patingin nga na muscles mo. Yeah. Na <laughs> <laughs> diba? Sabi ko, mag-gym ako. Medyo, kumanda na tayo. <laughs> Small progress is progress. Diba? Parang, nagpo-form siya. Kasi, nabag napupunit, nababatak, right? Pero kung di mo dadalhin yung sarili mo sa point na mapupunit ka, oh, oh. na mababasag ka, you're, you're still the same. Yeah. Diba? So it's okay to make mistakes, especially now na relatively bata pa tayo. Whoa. Right? Or we have our lives ahead. Um, yeah, and parang it's a beautiful journey because we're all together in it. Right? And it's yun nga, a journey of forgiving yourself, accepting. Hindi siya toxic positivity. Eh. Baka iniisip, di ba, ng ibang listeners natin na, eh, yun, sabi nyo lang yun. Hindi, it's de- dealing with the reality na, okay, merong mahirap na parte. But at the same time, may parating na better day. Di ba? May parating, or hindi man siya maging better na day. Mas matatag yung loob mo. Right? And siguro to cap it all off, um, as we wrap up our mes- message, message? <laughs> as we wrap up our conversation, um, if you would talk to your past self, oh, diba? And yung time na nag-struggle ka, what would you tell that? Short lang, brief lang. Her or him. Young Zia, young Zia. So that he or she can grow more. Parang magkaiba kasi sa akin eh, yung, mm. yung gusto ko sanang Go. encouragement and also for ah, the sige. younger Zia. Siguro, younger for, mo. sige, younger muna. Yung younger Zia is ganun kasi before yung feeling ko na hindi mm. I'll forever feel like this. I'll be stuck in this kind oh. of mindset. Pero, totoo yung sinabi mo eh, when you just show up and you do what is right and you you for me kasi yung what was right na I needed to do was to really be real with the Lord and be real with myself. When I did that and then para when I look back one year later na yun nga yung sinabi ko kayo na hala dati iiyakan ko to pero ngayon hindi ko na siya iniiyakan. Oh, yeah. So parang you show up you obey you do what is right susunod din yung emotions mo and it will get better the situation won't get better but most most of the times when we pray to the lord na lord change this hindi yung situation yung chine change most of the time Boom. pero tayo yung chine change ni lord mm. and then an encouragement for people who are feeling na parang hala am i growing or whatever may pap- may papatunguan pa ba yung buhay ko Boom. my encouragement is hindi ka binuhay sa mundong ito Ganda para na. sa wala lang. You mm. have a specific purpose and you have a worth in this world and you have something to do in this world. Hindi siya parang, ah, si ganito, successful na sa ganito, so dapat ganito yung gawin ko. Hindi, mm. eh, you have to discover para saan ba yung buhay mo? Ano ba yung meaning? Why are you living? Yun, yeah. There's a specific um, calling for you. There's a specific... Yes make up for you. You are unique. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So yun, discover mo lang kung bakit ka binigyan ng buhay ni Lord. Yeah. Yes. Talaga. Sa akin naman, yung natutunan ko ano yun. Learn to listen to the voice of God. Mm. Kasi sa journey natin na to, marami tayong boses na marilinig. Boses ng sitwasyon, boses ng mga ibang tao, boses na parang, uy, bakit, dyan, bakit ganyan ka lang? Parang gano'n. Kasi naalala ko when I was a child, um, pangarap ko talaga before is maging newscaster, maging news reporter. Halata sa boses. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi halata. Yan talaga yung pangarap ko. So, however, nung habang nagka-college ako, tin- tinuko yung course ng broadcasting, parang feeling ko sa iba kong direction gusto gawin, gamitin ni Lord. Kasi, uh, While I was studying pa, nag-work na ako before sa mga 
uh, mga news organization. So nakita ako din na parang, ah Lord, hindi ko mapakita yung totoong ako mm. habang nandito ko sa world na to. Parang, kasi in a uh, news industry, parang sa, sa media, controlled ka pa din eh. Mm. Parang you are controlled by the business, by the politics, parang gano'n. So nung nandun ako habang parang hindi ako, hindi ko enjoy, pero lagi kong tanong, ala ito yung pangarap ko dati ah. Ito yung gusto kong makuha. Pero nung nandun ako sa sitwasyon, hindi ako nag So I was asking God, Lord, saan mo ko dadalhin? Yeah. So parang nagkaroon ako ng struggles before na pinan- parang bigla akong nasabi sa Lord, I want to serve you. Mm. Then currently, parang there, is, um, there are some radio stations and, and networks wow. sa parang, bro, apply ka dito. Pero parang may nag may hold pa sa akin na, wag, wag na kasi mo gusto mo mag-serve, ganyan, ganyan. Mm. Pero syempre, tao minsan, parang, pero pangarap ko yun. Nag-try ako one time and I want to share na parang, nung in-interview ako dun, sabi nila, ay dito, 24-7 ka. So parang nung narinig ko yung sinabing 24-7 ka kung magtatrabaho, even weekends, parang nag-question ko sa Lord ko, Lord, wala, wala na akong time to serve you. Mm. Yung, nung na, yung naalala ko na hindi ako masaya pag gano'n, parang walang joy. Pero, pero may isang boses na papasok sa isip mo na, huy, pwede naman baka dyan ka gagamitin na Lord. Diba? Parang mm. nasabi ng ibang tao na baka yan yung magtutulak sa ito, share the gospel sa media industry. Pero hindi, walang joy eh. Pero sa, yung pala yung minsan pwede natin pagbasihin na since si God is a God of joy, God is a God of peace, if gusto ni Lord na doon ka sa sitwasyon na yon, bibigyan ka niya ng joy. So currently, sabi ko, Lord, I'm just waiting for your best success. I mean, for your, uh, parang kung ano, saan mo ako papupuntahin. Hinihintay ko lang kung, Lord, saan ba ako gagamitin? Ganon, parang, Siguro itong podcast. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> parang diba? Isa, makikita nyo pa siya. <laughs> parang gano'n. So parang, and one thing that I realize in life, then uh, when you're serving God, you're also serving others. Mm-hmm. Kasi in a small group, and I mean, Ate Zin, Ate Sigid is uh, also a uh, small group leader. Mm. Ang serap pala sa pakiramdam na mas makita mong natutulungan sila in God's yeah. presence. So parang, ganito yung dapat mong gawin, bro. Na, na parang, sa tulong ni Lord, bro, by God's grace, magagawa mo yan. Yeah. Diba? Parang yung advice na parang naka-foundation uh, talaga si Lord. Yes. yes. Yun yung masarap sa feeling. Beautiful, beautiful insights, no? And, yeah, um, as I wrap everything up, mm. why don't you write, no, para mabalikan ng next um, pod hosts natin, okay, at friends natin, ang mga learnings, later I'll write mine. Pero it's so amazing, right, that even in our regrets, right? Sabi mo nga, ito yung gusto mo before, tapos ngayon, iba na. Um, Ate Z told us about um, iba-iba. Iba-iba tayo wired, di ba? Hindi mo kailangan pilitin maging si kuya or si ate or si miss or si mister, right? Or etong person na to, kasi iba ka. Right? Na, na-remind lang ako no, sa verse ng Romans 8.28 na all these things parang God works together for the good of those who love Him who are called according to His purpose na I want to speak to those people who may be regretting because I personally had those moments um, before na shocks nag-shift ako ng course paano kung kasi com, com arts ako before paano paano kung hindi pala yun dahil pala nag-stay ako naging psych psych major ako but even in those little regrets that I had na shocks dapat pala ginrab ko yung opportunity na to um, or Personally, for me, naging active ako sa small group or sa Elevate when I was in college. So, sabi ko, shocks, hindi ko na-explore yung mga organizations outside. And honestly, may regret sa akin yun. Na, but hindi ko tinry? but naduwag ako? But even in those small things, when you look back and you just continue to obey, magugulat kay kasi gagamitin ni Lord kahit yung mga pagkakamali mo. Para makommunicate sa iyo yung plan niya for your life. Yun yung parang hindi ko maintindihan minsan eh. Parang bakit ganun? Right? So, just an encouragement uh, to continue pressing on, persevering. But if you're wondering, no, listening to all this, how do I listen to God's voice? How do, parang, how do I know what's my gift or my calling? We have this community here in Elevate where you can be a part of. That you can be a part of, rather. Right? You're free, you're free to come. You can... Feel free to be who you are. 
if you have questions, it's okay. We like it here. Diba? We're not a perfect community, but we're helping each other together, growing personally, right? And ultimately, knowing our Lord who knows us best. Right, so we'd like to invite you to chat us. Chat us if you want to be part of that community, that small group, right? In our social media sites at Elevate Main in Instagram, okay. TikTok, Facebook. Message lang kami and we will get to you right away. Also, if you're around here living in Pasig or Atigas area, then you can come and visit us at CCF Center every Saturday, 2 p.m. Pero if you're not from here, you can also check out our Elevate areas near you. Meron yan. So, thank you Zia and Seya for staying real till the end of this <laughs> pod. And thank you guys for listening in, tuning in, and staying real with us. We'd love to hear about your comments, your feels. So, chat it on the comments section below and we will get to you next episode. Bye! Bye. God bless!